So you have to search for research articles, and you've tried searching in CINAHL, but you haven't had much luck in finding articles that match your topic. There's another database that's very helpful for any kind of community health uh, assignments, especially for um, projects like the Healthy People Project and um, similar ones. So this is the Nursing Research Guide, and here you'll find all the information related to nursing research assignments. Um, and if you scroll down, there's CINAHL. If we scroll down, there's all these nursing databases gathered together, but the one I like to point students at, um, if you're having a community health kind of topic or you've had problems finding exactly what you need in CINAHL, is ProQuest Nursing and Allied Health. And this is what the database looks like. And it doesn't have as many limiters as CINAHL, but you are able to limit to peer-reviewed, you can do a date, so you do a specific date range if you have the last five years, and it's 2020 right now, so I'm going to put 2015 to 2020. I scroll down a little bit more. If my search was involved with an age group, I could make a selection here. But for just any kind of general search in this particular database, I select scholarly journals. I then scroll over here. And select an article that way I won't get you know advertisements annual reports and all the various things that you see listed in that box and in language I select English so I know that all my results will be in the English language from a scholarly journal there will be an article that was published in the last five years that's peer-reviewed so here we go I have a, a search um, I need to learn more about preventing falls, um, and so I type in my topic and come down to the search box and click search, and it will then come back and tell me my results. Well, I have way too many results, 9,000 plus, um, but I can see that uh, I have my peer review limiter, my last five years. Um, sometimes on this side they'll have a geographic limiter. It doesn't always work the right way. You, you can select United States and you still need to look at the articles because sometimes it'll say things like, you know, it, this, this study took place in Kenya, which I'm not sure why it does that, but just be aware of that. But in this case, I just wanted to give you a little overview of this database. Um, you can see that uh, I have an article here that perhaps I would think might be useful. Um, I have choices of different types of full text. Um, always choose the full text PDF. It's a digital scan of the print article layout so the paging will be correct and all the illustrations will be shown as the author intended. And when I click on that full text PDF it will bring me to a page and the various things that I want to point out. You have the PDF. You can also just look at the references. Um, in this upper right hand corner I could download it, I could email it, I could print it, I could cite it. Let me say that this is a computer doing citation. It is using APA 6 edition. Um, I tell students copy and paste this, put this in your reference list, but realize you need to review it to make sure that it has the proper punctuation and capitalization. So don't take it 100% correct. Make sure you do that review. Other things that can be helpful in this database, um, documents that share references with are listed here. Sometimes looking at uh, related items will help me with search terms, um, will sometimes give me relevant articles, but these are not are falling outside of my date range, so it's important to remember if you do look at what's over here on the right, that you are aware that the dates may not fall within your date range. But you know that's how your typical article would look. Um, I didn't limit it to full text because I do want to have access um, 
to articles such as this where they're not full text, but I can check true serials. It's a service of the library that will go and check all of the other databases that the library has access to and let me know if it's available. And in this case, this particular journal, and here is the, the citation information for that article, is available at the library. Um, and if it wasn't, I could click this request item and for free I could get an email of the article. But it's available at the library, so if I click on that link there, brings me to the article in the library catalog, and I click the Find It button. It gives me a map of the library, shows me where in the stacks this is, so I could go, I could find the journal that the article is in, bring it to one of the um, printers, and I could either print out a hard copy, or I could scan it and have it emailed to me. So all of that can be done with any of the hard copy materials. But this gives you uh, another database to go to when you're having some issues, uh, maybe not finding relevant stuff in CINAHL. Thank you.